Many of the same easy does it considerations discussed previously can be employed when cows exit the parlor. It is important for cows that have just been released from one side of the parlor to exit expeditiously. However, quiet encouragement for them to exit the milking area pays dividends over yelling, poking, beating, and spraying water. Notwithstanding the effect this aberrant behavior has on the exiting cows, including excitement and washed off teat dip, consider the negative effect it has on those waiting to be milked who we then expect to quickly and willingly enter this cauldron of negativity. In fast exit parlors, quiet vocal and gentle physical encouragement can be effective. With end exit parlors, it is effective both for cows leaving the side as well as for those entering to have the first cow at the entering group closely follow the last cow of the exiting group to the front of the parlor. The front gate can be used to cut the last exiting cow off from the first cow of the new group to be milked when using this method. Throughout the training period, as well as during the day-to-day -day routine of milking, it is advised that all persons involved with cows keep in mind W.D. Hoard's notice to the help. It reads, The rule to be observed in this stable at all times, toward the cattle, young and old, is that of patience and kindness. A man's usefulness in a herd ceases at once when he loses his temper and bestows rough usage. Men must be patient. Cattle are not reasoning beings. Remember that this is the house of mothers. Treat each cow as a mother should be treated. The giving of milk is a function of motherhood. Rough treatment lessens the flow. That injures me as well as the cow. Always keep these ideas in mind in dealing with my cattle. Signed, W.D. Horde.